Hello YouTubers and welcome DIYers. What you're seeing here is a clone I recently finished assembling. A clone of the Pearl Concussion SY1 synthesizer. The original isn't available anymore. Well, okay, it is available, you can find them on eBay, but people are asking ridiculous prices. Um, yeah, they are going for around 2k. Yeah, insane. So, uh, very nice, someone took the effort um, to do this wonderful rebuild. Um, it has the same circuitry, the same functions, it looks the same almost, um, a little bit smaller maybe. Um, yeah, but the most important thing in my ears, it also sounds like the original. So, yeah, very nice, and um, it's not so difficult uh, to assemble. And um, 250 units uh, were available in the first uh, run. And uh, if you couldn't grab one, um, you should uh, watch out uh, on the humancomparator.net, which is the uh, website where you can buy these. And um, yeah, there is a uh, rumors uh, that um, maybe in December, November, December, um, there might be a second run with 500 units. Okay, so if you didn't have one yet, uh, watch out for them. They're really nice and uh, yeah, not that um, uh, difficult to um, put together. And when you finish uh, um, finished, uh, soldering, assembling one of these units, then it's very important that you tune the uh, VCOs uh, um, on bo uh, board one and board two. Yeah, um, so that uh, everything matches and sounds like uh, the original one. And um, I came to the this, to the problem, or I had the problem, um, and maybe um, you folks um, might have the same problem, that um, I do not own a frequency counter. And yeah, the manual states uh, you ought to use one. And yeah, I didn't want to invest money uh, in a frequency counter, so I was um, uh, yeah thinking, uh, what else could I do? And I think I found a, a pretty nice workaround. And yeah, I want to show you how I um, tune my concussion without a frequency counter. I am using uh, my DAW, which is Ableton Live, and um, I have loaded a free plugin uh, on one of the channels. Uh, it's called G-Tune. Um, you can download it free. And um, yeah, I put it on the channel and um, into this channel, I will um, I will feed. Uh, the output of the syncussion and um, I connected um, this TRS cable to um, to uh, one of the inputs and um, yeah the next thing uh, you need to do some preparations before tuning um, first of all um, there are on each um, each VCO there is uh, a point uh, marked with um, with an arrow and it's important that you connect uh, these two points uh, here on top of this resistor and on the bottom of the other one. You need to connect these two points uh, to uh, somewhere on the uh, the ground of the uh, board. And yeah, I used uh, this place here. Um, it is uh, the uh, um, the PSU jack um, and yeah, the ground of it. So. Yeah, that's important because if you do not do this, then the frequency will drop continuously uh, while you're trying to tune, and um, yeah, uh, it will be almost impossible to accurately tune the unit. So it's important to do this, and then it's also important uh, that you switch the um, uh, those two uh, selectors to A to the top, and then um, also. Um, yeah, you should connect um, a cable because yeah, in my case I had a, a ground loop, ground hum um, when when disconnected. And um, also important, you have these two input jacks um, for the tuning, uh, CV input jacks, and um, yeah, you need to connect control voltage to them uh, while um, doing the tuning procedure. Um, control voltage between zero and four volts. Um, I am feeding the input with the controllable voltage um, from my analog 4. Um, it is sending 3 and 4 volts um, in change. Um, 16 steps, it's 3 volts and... Um, did I say 3 and 4? I meant 2 and 3 volts. Um, 2 volts and 3 volts uh, always changing each 16 steps of the sequencer of the analog 4. The reason for that is, um, yeah, you need to check with different voltages uh, between 0 and 4. 
and the frequency needs to double when doubling the control voltage. So if I have uh, 2 volts, 440 hertz, uh, or an A-sharp, and then I have 3 volts, uh, when it ch uh, changes, the frequency coming out uh, of the unit uh, needs to be uh, double as much or twice as much. So um, 880 uh, or one octave higher. That is uh, important. And uh, you measure the frequency on the back of the uh, board. You have uh, two points uh, for each VCO, point one, point two. And um, yeah, you can measure the frequency um, with a frequency counter, or in my case, you just hold the the ring of the cable to each point, and then you can hear uh, the frequency. Yeah, so um, this is way off now. Um, we are starting with the uh, first uh, VCO, and uh, the goal is to um, get, uh, like I said, a one octave in between uh, those uh, when it's changing. So um, the first thing is you should um, move the tuning um, slider, which is this one, uh, and hold uh, on point 2.1 and um, tune until you get 440 hertz uh, with the uh, lower uh, um, lower tone. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. So um, I have 400 her 440 hertz uh, with the first control voltage, and when it changes to three um, uh, volts, then I get something higher. But yeah, it's it's still way too low um, because, as I said, it has to be twice as much. So it has yeah, it has to be an octave, and you can already hear that there's no octave in between those two tones. Yeah, 608 hertz, something like a D minor, but also off, way too uh, uh, um, low. Um, so now um, you need to hold point one. I can also, um, yeah, um, do it from from this side. Um, on the other voice, it's not imp not possible. You need to turn it around. So I'm holding point one, and then I'm I'm turning the the trim um, part here, and um, I'm turning it so long until yeah I have um, the frequency doubling so let's do it Yeah, that is perfect. Um, it's pretty hard um, to to do it exactly because this trim part is a little bit flimsy and inaccurate. Uh, you need to try around uh, a bit until it matches. Uh, you won't be able, or I am not able, to match uh, this unit absolute exactly. There will still be some differences. Um, uh, slide, slide off. They will be slide off, but um, yeah, that's totally fine. I mean, it's an analog <laughs> unit, and you want some imperfection. But yeah, this is very close. And um, now, if I move the tuning fader and I hold 2.1, it should always, um, yeah, be one octave higher when changing the control voltage. Yeah, that's very good. Okay, so point one um, that is uh, tuned. 
Now the next thing, uh, point two, um, also has to act the same, but um, only the difference is you need to calibrate the G tune to 450 hertz. So yeah, that's what um, the the manual states. So, um, but and now I, I also need to turn the um, the board around because um, the tuning of point two um, works with this trim part here, uh, which is um, yeah on the on the second board found on the second board, and you go through here with the sc screwdriver and then you turn. So now I hold point two and I am trying to match um, yeah the the frequency on both points. Okay, let's let's just um, make an A. Okay, point one is an A. So now point two, I also want to get the A and the four hundred forty hertz and eight hundred eighty hertz. Okay, so uh, way too low, uh, turn it uh, counterclockwise and it will rise. Yeah, this is what I just mentioned. Um, it is, uh, yeah. It, it will always be a little bit off. It's. It, it, I didn't. Um, I didn't manage to, to to get these two points exactly the same. So, um, yeah, point one is perfect. A A just in the middle, no offset, and point two is yeah a little off. But yeah, it's almost not audible and it's very good. Um, I have 440 hertz and 880 and this just a little bit lower and a, a, a little bit higher. So um, that's that's fine. Um, if you get it like this, uh, yeah, you can be satisfied and move on to uh, the next uh, uh, voice. And, and then we do all the, the same the same procedure. And yeah, then um, the the syncussion is tuned as it should be, and uh, you're you're done. Uh, you also need to tune the noise. Um, that's not uh, so difficult. It's also explained in the uh, in the um, in the manual. And uh, yeah, um, I hope I could help you a little bit. And um, yeah, you find it useful. Um, yeah, in case you do not have a frequency counter, I think that this is a, a very very good workaround. Okay, so have fun, enjoy your concussion, or get one soon, and uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye-bye.